Hey, hey guys. guys, it's uh, September 28th, 2020. And um, I've already traded in the pre-market on OXBR, so I'm all done for the day. So I thought I'd make a video. Um, I'm trying a new strategy and I guess a new execution technique with Weeble. And it's something I've been trying to do for a long time, but I just thought Weeble is probably not good enough to be able to execute this strategy. But so far today, uh, it, it really surprised me. It worked really well. The main issue was I was worried it, it wasn't fast enough with its executions. Um, generally, it's been pretty quick, but um, I, I used to use uh, only bracket orders, which are a safe way to trade. But um, the one problem I've seen with Weeble and bracket orders is really just in the first one minute candle of the market open. Uh, the, and and that could that could be true for what I'm about to tell you as well. So I'm going to stay away from that for a while, uh, and, and I might test it a little bit later, once you know I've proven this otherwise. But anyway, yeah, I put in a, an order on the first one minute candle uh, with a bracket order, and it doesn't get it doesn't show up on my um, chart, like a position doesn't show up on my chart for maybe sometimes as little as five or ten seconds and sometimes as much as 20 or 25 seconds and by that time the candle will have gone up come back down touch my stop stop me out and I can't do anything about it because the whole time that that order is getting filled it doesn't let you move your stop or move your target or anything so uh, ever since you know that's happened to me a couple of times I just don't trade the first minute first one minute candle um, which is probably a good thing anyway. That it's it's super risky to be trading the one minute candle. But anyway, this video is all about using hotkeys with Weeble and really like you know how so with you know hotkeys are the fastest way that you could put in an order uh, and, and get out of a, a an order and um, so it's the best way to kind of test the execution speed of the platform that you're using. And and this morning in the pre-market with OXBR, that's all I did. I was using hotkeys and I was in and out of trades very, very quickly. And I'm going to, I was only doing like um, one, uh, two shares at a time. And then I would sell one share uh, at scaling out, you know, and then sell the other share. So, uh, you know, just to test this thing out. Plus I have a small account, so. Uh, but let's see here. Just drag this over so you can see. My, I want to really show you my um, the fill times, the order time compared to the fill time, because that's kind of the best way to see how fast the uh, the platform is. Now that some of this stuff is from yesterday, so this is just this is just the pre market. You can see it was five seventeen a.m really early but man this thing was moving um, let's just look really quickly uh, what was going on at 517 yeah so I just saw this thing run up with you know this is big volume for the pre-market at 5 in the morning at 25,000 shares and then I was trying to catch this on the way back up which I did but the main thing that I wanted to share with you was just how quickly these orders go in and then are filled. So let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Okay. So the very, very first order was at 517 and 48 seconds and then it was filled at 517 and 49 seconds. So that's for all intents and purposes that's less than one second because there's no way that I timed this to where I nailed it you know at, at 48 point zero seconds uh, you know so uh, real I, I guess it could be anywhere between less than a second and uh, you know and maybe a little bit over a second but anyway that's that's very fast I'm sorry I'm looking at the uh, the wrong thing here so the buy was at 517 40 seconds the order and then the, it was filled at 517 41 so again one second then this <coughs> excuse me the sell same thing order placed and filled within one second same thing here or the second time that I put in a sell order um, and then the other cool thing this is something else I worried about is is right now with this strategy I'm using the hotkeys like I said and I'm buying on the ask and selling on the bid with like one cent uh, of wiggle room 
So I, I was, I'm kind of order worried about, you know, when I'm watching these candles chop around and I place my order, um, you know, about slippage. Slippage is always a big concern, but check this out. So I'm, I, I, when I place the order, I guess the, my limit price was 361. I got filled two cents cheaper. Um, then when I go to sell my uh, limit price order was put in at 362 I get sold at 368 so that's a gain of six cents per share and then uh, same thing over here I go to sell at 362 I get out at 368 so slippage you know uh, it's, it's so far it's working in my favor uh, but anyway back to these you know like look every single one of these is within one second there's a couple here's one that's in within two seconds it's probably a little bit less than two seconds one second some of these are within within the same second um, same here within the same second one second I mean every single no no not one of these orders took more than two seconds to fill some are within one second and some are about one second so you can definitely in my opinion uh, scalp with Weeble and you can get in and out of trades just as fast as you can press the button on the keyboard um, so I mean today was my first day trading like this with with the hotkeys and the only problem with uh, Weeble and the hotkeys is that it doesn't allow you to set it so that you can say you know sell half of my position you can only sell based on dollar amounts share size or um, percentage so you kind of have to figure out ahead of time like how much do I want to spend per trade and uh, with this stock since it was when I looked at it, it was trading around you know three dollar area and all I wanted to do you know to test the strategy out was buy two shares and be able to scale scale out one share and then sell the, the remaining share for um, you know either higher profit or at break even, so I set this up so that it it um, buys ten dollars worth, which would be two shares automatically, and then sells five dollars worth, which would be one share uh, because it's under five dollars, and then I'd still have one share left over, and I can sell it out. And I'm not actually clicking these buttons with a mouse; I'm using the hotkeys. So I have mine set up. I'll show you. This is my buy the ask button. I have it set up for limit order, uh, quantity $10. The limit offset is, is one penny. Uh, all this is set so that I can trade in the pre-market as well as during the day. And then the hotkey is control Z. So whenever I hit control Z, it puts in an order, $10 worth of whatever stock that I'm on. And then it, you know, how many ever shares is, will be based on the price. You know, if the thing is at a dollar, I'll get 10 shares. Uh, but if it's at five dollars, I'll get two shares. So, and then my sell. Um, th this is my primary way, you know, of wanting to sell out with this strategy. Is, uh, is I have it set for five dollars so that it sells half of my shares, no matter how many shares that might be. And if the price moved a lot, I guess I, it could get to a point where it sells maybe, let's say, I had ten shares and the price moved up a lot, and then I try to sell five dollars worth, and it might sell out uh, four shares because the price moved up and then I have six shares left over. That's one thing I have to watch out for, but so far that hasn't been an issue. And then here, it's just kind of the opposite. The limit offset is minus one penny, still for extended hours. And then I have the hotkey Alt-Z. So I'm using the same letter to buy and sell, but I'm just switching from Control-Z to Alt-Z. And it uh, worked really, really well today. And then the, my last button, should have left that up is uh it's just kind of like if let's say i get into the position with my full uh share size or full position size which just in this case is ten dollars and then it, this thing like immediately flushes down and hits my stop i have this button set up um just to get me out and then this minus five cents is just to take care of any slippage if this thing flushes really hard because this is still a limit order it's not a market order and you can't even use a market order in the pre-market anyway so in order to um account for any slippage that might be happening in a in a flush i have my limit offset with some extra cushion um because it's better to get out on a little bit lower price than to be stuck you know have some shares left inside the trade as it continues to flush down further so that's what that's all about so anyway 
that's my, that's my video on how fast Weeble can execute orders. This was in the pre-market. Um, I haven't tried this intraday yet, and I'm already, you know, on my cash account. I'm, I've used all my money for today, so I'm not going to be trading. Well, almost all of it, but uh, not enough to, to really want to trade during the day today. But I'm sure there'll be a day where there's really not much going on in the pre-market, and then I'll I'll try it out intraday. But intraday, it should work even better. Um, and, and I have one other kind of strategy that I, I'm going to apply that you can't do in the pre-market. But anyway, that's it. Uh, hopefully you, you've seen um, that Webull is fast enough to um, trade, at least it, definitely in the pre-market, I'm sure, during the the market it's it's just as quick and um, the orders are getting filled within one second in and out so if you can't make money with hotkeys and Weeble it's not Weeble it's you <laughs> alright any questions or comments let me know in, in the comment section below good luck out there